Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game number trace of MYI versus Team Shit. God, that's never gonna get old. So, in game number two, technically one, we saw a nice place from MYI with the sniper, who I can almost guarantee will be banned out this time around, but not before the Templar assassin is. Radiant team. And of course, I uh, just the invoker was really used as the hard carry for Team Shit, and Orc can, can play that invoker well, but they needed, I think, a little bit more damage to. Uh, sort of stop the amount of damage that was incoming from both Sniper uh, and everyone else on that team, the Aghanim Scepter, you know, Darkseer, things of that nature. Of course, nice clockwork play as well from the side of in, uh, Orbit. So, so I'd like to thank you guys for, follow, you know, watching the game. I'm Mont. I'm going to bring you here game number three. The series is tied at one apiece, as you can see, with our green counters up here. So we'll see what happens with the next few bans and the next few picks, and uh, Undying will be banned out first time, once again. Team ban. And exciting stuff. Mm. Exciting stuff in that first Radiant game. I gotta say, a lot ban. of really good plays, a lot of good team fights. Uh, not a whole lot left to be desired. Darkseer will be the next ban for the side of Team Shit. And not a bad ban there at all, realizing that the Aghanim Scepter uh, Incarnate was doing so much damage. So, we're going to get into the last band here for my intent. And if you're enjoying the cast, please follow Neo Dota. Please follow me in my personal stream and my Twitter, Ten which is slash Dota 2 Give it a check out Five if you'd like. Remaining. I wonder who else is playing Dota right now. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing that. Reserve I'm time. sure there's somebody here who's playing, like Draskal or freaking like Merlini, or somebody has to be playing right now. I say this, but... Uh, and that may not be the case. So, one more band from MYI. And they have one more. Uh -huh. And it will be the Kotal, who, I mean, honestly, the Kotal was played so well by the this guy's name that I cannot pronounce that I'm not surprised that they, they ban that out. And they ban it out every time. He's a very strong support player, of course, in that long lane or in the short lane or wherever you want to put him as a support, as an offlaner. Works really well. But, that being said, the offlaner this time around for my intent is going to be the Bounty Hunter, and Batrider is picked up on the time of the team of uh, Team Shit, so that's going to be pretty important. Yeah, I just realized uh, Korea and Merlini are actually streaming. So, that being said, two more pickups here. Shakira, once again, really strong, but uh, it's going to be on the side of MYI this time around. Literally every game, I see a Jakiro. It happens remaining. all the time. Five seconds remaining. There's only one uh, set of matches now. This is not CDL, for those of you that are asking. This is the uh, University of Waterloo Gaming LAN. It is the finals. Uh, we started the day with three teams. We're down to two. This is a best of five series. And the third team was actually G-Hawks, and they were from Wilfrid Laurier College. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Regardless, we're getting to reserve time right now. So, we're taking some time here. Thinking about the last two pickups. Batrider was the first. Rubik is still available, if you want to use him as that support. As in, Asway did really well with him. And I'm sure he'll they'll pick him up if they can. But right now, the Bounty Hunter offliner is very good. Batrider might be using that offlane situation as well. I do think, though, that Team Shia needs to pick up a carry this time around. Invoker is good, but he's not that good. Send Invoker mid if you can pick him up again and... Uh, maybe actually they're not going to pick him up this time around. I'd be very surprised not to see him in the first pick phase. I think they're thinking about it. They want to really uh, discuss this. They've got 35 seconds left in reserve time, so not a whole lot of decisions being made just yet. And yes, these are not, I wouldn't say American. They're from the North American scene, if you want to call it that. My intent has been in the SECS pretty much every week, uh, which is a Sunday Evening Cup Series presented by NA Dota. And it's pretty much an amateur sort of tournament that happens every weekend. And they've been doing really well in that. Uh, as far as uh, Team Shad, this is the first I've heard of them, but they've been playing really well the entirety of uh, today, so I'm pretty excited. Ancient Apparition plus Ven will be the pickup on the side of Team Shad. And this is going to be pretty nice. You've got Ancient Apparition, who's really good at pushing Ten back seconds. pushes. You know, any aggressive pushing strategy is sort of thwarted. Also, it's a good Five laning with Ancient Apparition and Sven, which they may actually send mid here. I think that would be a good mid lane uh, dual mid, but they could He's do it in top. another role. They could pick up another hero and send a uh, tri lane down in that direction with Bat Rider in the off lane and perhaps Invoker maybe this time around or some other mid hero in the mid lane. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, one more pickup on the side of my intent. 
And I think I'd be very surprised to see in this next ban phase Team Shia not ban out Chicken MC's Sniper. I'd be very surprised not to see that. Same with the Anti-Mage. Um, that being said, we'll have to wait and see. 40 seconds left on reserve time for Incarnate and his crew. And one more pickup is the next thing we'll be Invoker. seeing. And it's going to be Invoker. So this time around, MYI says, hey, Orchid, we know you can play, but what about us? And what about you, my intent? What about you? Can you play it? Oh. And we'll see once the game gets going Radiant here. Anti-Mage the first ban out this time around from Orchid and his team. Now, what does my intent do? You've got the Invoker, which is the thing I think I'm most scared of in the entire game from Team Shiit. That doesn't mean that he can't, he can only play Invoker. He's not like J.O., where he's like a one-trick pony, but by the way, J.O. is not a one-trick pony either, but he's like, Invoker was really common for J.O. early on, at least, you know, pre-TI2. Uh, pre so, we'll have to see what else they want to ban out here, and I don't know. I mean, Sven has been picked up. He can be your carry in the mid-game. They could be banning out some mid-heroes right now. Um, Ten. I'm not sure. With the Ancient Apparition, you usually Dyer see a Chaos Knight or something like that. So, I don't know if they're going to pick that up. They've already got Sven, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Leshrac's going to follow up with the next ban. Not a bad ban at all if you're my intent. So, good stuff there. And two more bans each. And so, not as quick as the first ban phase, which, once again, I'm fine with. That's absolutely okay with me. And we'll have to see. I mean... Whoever can take this game will be in a considerably good position for taking the uh, the whole thing, obviously, with that 2-1 advantage. But can Team Shite come back with another game? After sort of, not a poor performance, remaining. I would say, against my intent, but I think that they knew they could do better. I don't think Five their seconds remaining. waning really attributed and their heroes really attributed to the best of their abilities. Reserve I think Night Sucker is a good pickup, but in a tri-lane it could be potentially bad, as we saw against the Sniper in that tri-lane. I mean, that's just a hard try to go up against with the Shadow Demon, of course, with uh, with Rubik there, and of course Sniper with his headshots, and, and Jakir was not having a good time. His cast animation does take a while for that Ice Path to get up, and it was cancelled no. a lot from, like, Headshot and things of that nature. Disruptor's the next band here from Team Shia, a, a hero that we've ever seen banned or picked pretty regularly today. And I said regularly, it's not like we have done, like, eight or ten games today. I've done about five, including the previous one, so... Um, just take all this, you know, insight with a grain of salt. I don't know. I like. I don't know these teams' past histories. I pretty much my extent of the knowledge of my intent goes back to the fact that I know that Chicken plays Sniper all the freaking time, and is really good at it. And they've got. They've. I mean, they've done well with it. Tidehunter is the next ban out from my intent. Dying Annoying to play against ban. that. We've also seen uh, Naga Siren with the Enigma on the side of my intent, and that could be another strong combination, of, especially with, you know, the heroes they've got already. They've got pretty decent team fight as it is. Radiant and Jakiro with the Ice Pass on, right on top of that Black Hole, plus Invoker with, you know, Tornado, what have you, Deafening Glass into a that small area could do a lot of damage. It'd be very destructive. Chen is the final ban out from Team Shiet, so they're not even worried about Sniper, it seems like, but will MYI pick it is the question. And I'm not sure myself. I don't know, really. I think the pick will be Team Shiites first, though, so they've got some time here, and they might even pick Sniper up on their own. I think they picked it up earlier today. I'm not sure. might have been G-Hawks, though. This is sad. I can't even remember what the casts were. Ten seconds remaining. So, Five we're going to get here remaining. into these uh, next uh, <sighs> couple of picks. The band will be Lena from the side Dyer of my intent, which is a very strong hero that's been used a lot recently. And what will they pick up now is the question. Windrunner, perhaps, might be a good one. I mean, I think they'll pick up a, either a mid-hero or they'll send out, you know, with, so they can send the Batrider off lane, which is so strong. Um, and earlier on, Incarnate played that that uh, Batrider against She-Hawks. And he got, like, a, a first blood plus another kill right afterwards uh, against a tri-lane, which seconds, surprised the hell out of me. But that's just he's so strong he's so strong that writer's so strong witch doctor, witch doctor is going to be the next pickup here from team shia and this Radiant is very interesting pick. this is really interesting i don't know where they're going to put this this could be the tri-lane with aa sven and witch doctor they could pick another carry and send like witch doctor somebody else bottom and then like sven or top excuse me and then sven ha uh somewhere else like mid i don't know we'll find out in just a moment 15 seconds left on the regular time here for my intent. They've got about uh, 33 seconds of reserve time as well, so they've got remaining. a long time here to really get their picks going and think about what they want to do here. Seconds remaining. Remember, after this game, we will have at least one more game 
perhaps even two. Shadow Demon again on my intent. Storm Spirit this time around from Team Shia. And this is a hero that I've only seen once in like the past month played in a competitive game. I've seen it with Wisp. And that was an SECS. And that was a really odd thing to see. But obviously they wouldn't have pitched it if they didn't feel comfortable with the hero. A good hero, but uh, essentially really magic uh, heavy. Doesn't have any whole lot of light right click, I should say. Um, it'd be interesting if they send Storm Spirit against the Invoker. I mean, that might be tough for the Invoker. He'll have to get Ghostwalk pretty early on. I mean, Storm Spirit with his Static Remnant plus his Pole can do a lot of damage to that Invoker pretty quickly. It's a lot of burst damage. And I'm excited to see what happens here. Very excited. 22 seconds left here. So you've got Bounty Hunter, Jakiro, Invoker, and Shadow Demon. Okay, you send Invoker mid, Bounty Hunter, the offlane, Jakiro, and Shadow Demon, plus one. And that's probably going to be a carry because they don't have one right now. I mean, Bounty Hunter, Invoker, a lot of utility, not a whole lot of carrying as we saw in the last game. Sniper. And it's going to be Sniper again. So going with the same old strategy as Chicken MC. And some of you have been maybe going like, oh, that's so boring. Why don't you pick something crazy? But it's worked for them in the past, and uh, we'll see how they played here. The Invoker and the Bounty Hunter are going to be very interesting. I want to see how the Invoker is played. I'm almost certain it'll be sent mid this time around, and the Bounty Hunter will be in the offlane with a tri-lane of Shadow Demon, Jakiro, and Sniper. The only thing different about this tri-lane is that instead of a Rubik, you have a Jakiro here, which may or may not work well. I, I, Team Shia is just so weird looking. You think about, they've got four intelligence, one strength, so everybody's pretty squishy here with the exception of Sven, who can take up a lot of damage. Obviously with cool War Cry and it's just his base health. DC coming out from the Witch Doctor real quick. We'll see if we Ten get a stop to the game. Remaining. Maybe a pause, and it will be a pause. What happened? It might have been a uh, BSOD, a blue screen of death. But in the meantime, we'll do some introductions here. The one and only will be played by Storm Spirit, Orchid on the Bat Rider, uh, Ariza on the Sven, Ancient Apparition is an Ancient Apparition. Who am I missing? Uh, we'll come back to that. I don't know who I'm missing. Oh, it's uh, GTR, of course. Meanwhile, on the side of my intent, we'll have Bounty Hunter on the or or orbit played by Bounty Hunter. Excuse me. Chicken MC will be on the sniper. We'll have Asway on the Jakiro. Jamie D will be on the Shadow Demon. And finally, Incarnate will be on that Invoker. Uh, good. Ask Orchid. And good, says MYI's Incarnate. And we're going to get into the game here. Alright, so, look at that baby Roshan Courier, it's adorable. And then the regular one here, a little plebeian courier on the side of Team Shiet. Just is such a weird team name, why, why did it have to be that name? Why? Why? Batrider was sent into the uh, easy lane, but he's going to be alone, so it will be a solo lane. We'll have a tri-lane versus a tri-lane once again. Another aggressive one this time around from Team Shiet, and uh... So it's going to be Witch Doctor, Ancient Apparition, plus Ven. And this could be devastating. The melee damage will be nice and, and hefty. Stormhammer for that setup stun. Of course, the cold feet will uh, probably end up latching because I'm sure it'll probably be Stormhammer initiation followed up by the Witch Doctor's cask, which will keep them in place for a long period of time. And cold feet is pretty much assured to hit. So this could be easy for blow, but at the same time, uh, Aswai and Jamie D have played really well the past few games. Chicken MC, of course, is getting a ton of farm on the sniper. Mid lane matter. will be the Invoker played by Incarnate plus... Uh, the one and only on the Storm Spirit, who is usually on that one roll, but in this case will be on the Storm Spirit. Uh, I don't think he'll be the hard carry. I think Sven will be played as that hard carry. Orbit picking up the uh, Bounty Hunter here in the top lane against uh, Orchid. And this could be an easy lane for Orchid, I think, here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, you've got a lot of range. You won't have really vision on you. Uh, but if you can get vision early on and go through Shadow Walk and get plenty of Napalm stacks and a Firefly, it could be pretty devastating early on. So, oh, my blast hit chart again. So, let's see how this goes for both teams. Remember, this is the University of Waterloo Gamers Land Final. The grand finals between Team Shiat and, of course, uh, MYI, my intent. Tied 1-1 right now. It's a best of five. So, there will be at least one more game of Dota after this. And I say at least because there's always a chance to, for it to get pushed to a game five. Invisibility. So Invis Rune is picked up by Witch Doctor. He's going to come around, maybe going for an early cask. Might look for something here. He's got no wards on him. The wards are placed down, though. 
uh, right here from the side of JMBD. Of course, we have one right on the uh, top of that cliff. Meanwhile, we see a cold feed on a chicken MC pretty early on. He's going to walk it off. He actually gets frozen, though. So this could be really annoying for him. Ice Pop barely going to miss. Actually going to hit on GTR. There's going to be the disruption as well onto the uh, Ariza. And actually, JMBD is going to go down to first blood. And into that first and look at the kill there. So already, Chicken MC in his lane is not going well. A lot of damage being taken by him. So disruption didn't turn out well. The Storm Hammer was a lot of damage, of course. And then just the... Of course, the cast did fly out. Just too much damage coming in from the side of this ancient apparition, and of course, Sven doing a little bit of damage from the storm hammer. One minute and 17 seconds for flood. Not as quick as we saw last game because it happened before the game even started. But to actually, see rotation coming in from ancient apparition. Doesn't have enough mana for another cold feed again. So, keep your eyes open. You might see another kill down here. Remember, tri lane versus tri lanes always get very bloody. So, not switching this up early on. One and only trying to get some last hits with his static remnant early on. He's got seven right now, and the side of uh, Shiat is looking really strong with their last hitting. Seven on three of their heroes, of course. Sniper's not too far behind with six, but uh, that first blood is going to be a really nice pickup for this team. Still, pretty early on to really discuss about who's winning and who's losing. Two minutes into the game. If it starts going badly for MYI, though, you'll know why. I mean, this is a tough situation. The problem is, you don't really expect these heroes to be picked up. Uh, Sven, not so much, but the uh, Witch Doctor, honestly, of course, the mid lane Storm Spirit, somebody you don't see too often. Uh, Batrider, though, is pretty frustrating to play against, and Chicken MC taking a lot of damage from Cold Feet again. He's not going to go down, but nice Ice Path onto the Sven, taking a lot of damage. Chicken MC trying to get out of there, nice disruption. There's going to be a Sunstrike will land at will, and it looks like Ancient Apparition will, in fact, go down. Shadow Demon getting the kill there, but they trade it for the Jakiro. So, 1-2 to two right now is the score. DD Rune up on the Storm Spirit, maybe looking for an initiation on the Invoker, who is going double exhort early on. Not any in Quas just yet. Does have his Blades of Attack, will get his boots relatively soon. TP back in from the Ancient Apparition. So a little bit of revenge coming from Jamie D. But they do lose Jakiro in that fight, who does not TP in. He'll have to walk all the way there. Up in the top lane, Bounty Hunter is getting five last hits right now. Fortune on the side of the Bat Rider. This is going to be tough for the Bounty Hunter. But when he gets his levels up into Janata, his Shadow Walk as well, he'll be able to do a bit of damage. Bottom lane, we're going to see maybe an initiation. Sentry Ward here in the um, in the lane right now. They don't want to find any sort of Observer Wards here, and that would not be good. And Jamie D. Trying to harass a little bit. Headshot, doing a little bit of damage to his fence, stunning him up a little bit. So 2-1 to one still. Nice dive here from Ulrich up in the top lane now. Uh, Orbit taking a lot of damage. He doesn't see him, though. He's looking for the kill. The Firefly looked like it might get the kill there. He has boots, but uh, Orbit does not. True can toss doing a bit of damage, and there's going to be a tower hits as well, but it won't be able to enough to get the kill there. Bottom lane, we're going to see some more right clicks from Chicken MC. They're pinging on him. They want to go. Do they have enough for the disruption? Ice Path actually misses out. Disruption onto the Sven right now. Sunstrike calling out as well. He'll get hit by that as well. There's going to be the War Cry. Taking a lot of damage. Will Ariza go down? Not before the Ancient Operation gets the kill. They want this kill. They're not going to get it though. And Chicken MC has to actually back off. He's taking a lot of damage from both these heroes. And we see Courier flying in with just a belt of strength. Just to make him, make him a little bit more tanky. GTR looking for a kill on his way as well. Cold Feet should be able to get the kill here onto Chicken MC. So already diving a little bit. This is exactly what happened to Shiat last game. But uh, now they're sort of dishing it back out. There's the Soul Catcher onto Shiat onto GTR right now. He's taking a bit of damage from the Illusions. He should be fine though. Sunstrike going to fly. Will it hit is the question. It does, but it won't get the kill. He's at 12 HP. Are you kidding? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, man. I thought for sure it was going to be enough. Just barely missing the kill there, and that could be big. It's 5-1 to one right now, and Sheet is playing pretty well, so it's starting. 5-1 uh, is not what you want the score to be if you're my intent. But Sheet looking really strong. Sven has to actually go back for some heals and some repairs, but he'll be fine. Going for Quelling Blade as it's starting, and he'll TP right back in, but maybe buy his boots first. Not sure. Orkin not getting the kill up here. He does have his Ring of Health, though, and uh, Orbit doing a little bit of damage to him. Sticky Napalm looked like it was going to fly up, but not Too the case. So sad. TP coming in here from Ariza again. Robe of the Magi, so it will be Drums of the Endurance pretty quickly onto Ariza. And now, I mean, Chicken MC's farm is nowhere near where, what it was in the previous game. He's down by a couple last hits. If you're looking at Sven, he's got 14, so he's not too much higher, but uh, they're doing a lot of damage here. Meanwhile, Jamie Deed's going to get uh, initiated on. Ancient Apparition trying to get the Cold Feet doesn't do so. There's going to be the Storm Hammer onto Asway. He's taking a lot of damage. Will the Sunstrike hit on anybody? The question, it just barely misses onto the Ancient Apparition. They want the kill. Chicken MC wants it bad. He's going to try to back off and go for the kill. He's going to go around. He's going to loop around for the kill. No, he's actually going to back off here. Warcry chasing Chicken MC right now. Sven looking for the kill. Storm Hammer will fly out. He's going to take some damage here. Will it be enough? Is the question. I think it will. 
And nope, they're going to back off. Okay, so not enough mana for a Paralyzing Casket, looks like. Asway has been having a really tough time. He's died twice here. Jamie D died twice as well. Chicken MC once, I think. Yes, just one death here, but already 6-1 to one in favor of Sheehan, and they're going to have a pretty sizable advantage, I think, early on. 1,500 in experience. Gold is 3,000 already, so uh, they're looking very good right now. Firefly up in the top lane. Nothing happening just here. Uh, no vision. And we see Boots plus Poor Man Shield finished up for Orbit. Now, once again, remember that there is this track called Available at level 6, so we'll see how they do. The one and only here in the middle lane, level 7 against this Invoker. He's having a very good time farming. He's 34 last hits. Nobody's over 20 on the side of MYI, so... First game, they played really well, got the last hits, did a lot of the farm against uh, the one and only on that nature, or excuse me, Night Stalker. And it was frustrating for them. Now, they're not playing nearly as well. It's been tough. This lane has not worked out for them. And of course, the Warcry giving that bonus armor has just been so, making these heroes so tanky. And Ancient Apparition has almost died twice, essentially. Twice more than he probably should have, but uh, helping getting kills as well is a pretty big deal. Reza's got one kill, he's got zero deaths and two assists, he's going for those drums, as you can see, he's got a thousand gold in the bank, he should be able to finish up the Bracer or his boots, he'll purchase his boots up real quick, and then his Bracer should be coming in pretty soon, and then he'll just need that uh, recipe to finish up the drums, and then maybe go for something like Treads. Uh, pinging out this ward here, GTR did place it down, it can get counter warded, since you uh, just got actually popped down just a second ago, so it'll be taken care of rather quickly. Rotation coming in from the Storm Spirit, who has invisibility, I'm sure Invoker's calling missing right now. But they're sitting all by the tower here, looking for an engagement. Chicken MC is going to be taken in here, taking some damage. Uh, the ice pad will not be enough to save Chicken MC, who essentially goes down in seconds to a lot of his damage here. TP coming in right now on the side of the bounty hunter, looking for a kill. They need to try to get something here. There's a track available, giving him that bonus speed, but I don't know if they'll be enough to really turn around and try to get something here. In fact, they'll have to back off. So nice play once again from Shits, one to seven. Good a gank from Storm Spirit, and I mean, man, did freaking Chicken MC just melt there? So the sniper is not working out for them in this game, and Shits looking looking very strong. 7-1 to one right now. The experience is probably going pretty well for them. Back to 2,000 essentially though. 4,000 though in gold is not what you want. And it's essentially free farm for Orchid up here in the top lane. Almost 50 last hits in about 8 minutes. So pretty crazy stuff. He'll be having a, a blink dagger relatively quickly if he wants one. Can always go for a force death early on. Maybe finish his treads first. Not sure. The one and only taking a bit of damage here from Incarnate, who's not done that great a job of farming. He's got 28 last hits at 8 minutes in the game, so the Quas Exhort not going nearly as well for him as it did with Orchid in the previous game. But, Illusion. remember, they're still not out of this yet. They've got a long time here. They need to get Chicken MC so far, though, and uh, they're trying to work on it. It's going to take some time, though. And, I mean, Sven already getting pretty close to his drums. I mean, he's got enough for the recipe almost, and he's, I think she does now. And, of course, he's got enough for the bracer right up if he wants to buy that. So, one of those pieces would be done soon, unless he's going for uh, something else entirely, in which case, I don't know why he would build the rope. Because he wants, like, a blade nail, I think is what it builds into. So, <clears throat> meanwhile, trying to get some farm down here, and Chicken is actually not even going near that lane. They've been sort of out farmed here they've been out muscled into this bottom lane right now and it's just not been good level seven on the bounty hunter i want to look at the levels right now surprisingly uh the dire actually have two level fours as well sven being one of them now, of course the ancient apparition level five he's doing pretty well for himself incarnate trying to do some damage here in the mid lane trying to get some more farm looking at the last hit skin he's got 33 he's catching up a little bit but then again sniper's only with 20 and he's having a really tough time he needs more farm than this obviously it took him a long time to get that farm in the previous game i mean he was getting it from afar but it's just not working for him right now I deny you. And denies are coming out as well, so it's kind of difficult. Also, 21 denies? What the hell? How are there 21 denies? Orchid is playing ridiculously well. 21 denies seems like kind of a lot at 10 minutes in the game. Like, if you're able to get both 50 last hits and 21 denies, that's pretty crazy. At least in my opinion. Ariza's doing pretty well for himself, though, with the 36 of his own. Uh, he's still waiting to see what he's buying right now. Nothing's on the courier, obviously. 1300 bang. There's a the disruption. There's the soul catcher. Reese is taking a lot of damage. He should be going down to the sun drink, and in fact, does that. They needed that kill. Maledict up on Jakiro. He's actually going to get frozen in place, and the Maledict will keep taking on him. Will he go down is the question. I don't think so. He should have enough health. He's a uh... Nope, he's dead. That's unfortunate. Full feet on to Chicken MC. Looking for the kill. Soul catcher does not latch. Looking for H and Apparition. Not getting him. Disruption going off on GTR as well. He's taking a bit of damage. Chicken MC looking for the kill. Should get it there. In fact, does. Now looking on Ancient Apparition. Ice Blast is going to fly. And will actually get the kill on Chicken MC. Nice play there from Ancient Apparition. Warcry's up on Ariza. Looking for Jamie D. Will get the uh, stun off. Has Soul Catcher's not going to matter. That's not going to save him. Disruption will be the only thing. He's trying to juke it out. 
but nice plays there from Sheet, especially the Ancient Apparition. This guy is playing out absolutely out of his mind. I kind of wish I could pronounce his name. Meanwhile, in the river, Incarnate looking for a kill on the one only, but he's going to pull, pull him in. He's got no mana, though. He can ball anyway. He's got his bottle charge as well. He's got haste, too, but Incarnate taking a bit of damage will back off. Drums for him is the next choice. Okay, so... Uh, this is, for those of you asking in chat, this is at the Bison Auto Shop, I think, in Waterloo. I don't know where that is, obviously, and I'm not actually there. Meanwhile, A taking a lot of damage. Bounty Hunter will get the kill there. Cold Feet onto Chicken MC. Might get him down. Nope. Doesn't get with the stun. So, Bounty Hunter coming in there. And that was a track kill as well, so that's going to be pretty important. And that takes some farming experience and gives it to the rest of his team there. And meanwhile, Incarnate's actually going to rotate back to the uh, base and maybe TP in real quick and go for the one and only here. See another rotation from Jamie D. He's got two observers, two sentries, maybe looking to ward here real quick. No towers have been taken just yet. Rather slow paced game, not like the last game where we saw a lot of kills happening pretty early on and pushing happening left, right, and center. Still 10 to 4 at 11 minutes in the game. It's pretty exciting, I gotta say. A lot of crazy stuff happening here. TP coming in. Warcry is popped there. Looking for a kill. Orchid is here. He's got lasso. Will he be able to find something? Ice Blast will fly out as well. He's in a bit of trouble. He's slow. He's going to look for an Ice Path, but he's just not able to turn fast enough. Nice Disruption will save him momentarily. Maledict going off. I don't think it's on him. Ice Path on him as well. He's taking a ton of damage from the Firefly. Soul Catcher under Ariza, though. He's going to get the kill. No Bat Rider. Well, there's going to be the Assassinate. Oh, is he going to go down as the question? Ariza is very low, but Lasso on to Jamie Dean. They're going to get the two kills there. They do take out Storm Spirit in the mid lane, it looks like, but it doesn't matter. Chicken MC is going to go down, and Orchid gets a triple kill. Oh, goodness gracious. So much damage with Firefly, with the Reza, with the Warcry, with Ancient Apparition as well. It's just too much. Just too much. 5 to 13 right now. Experience is about 3k. Gold now in 5k. It's getting dangerously close to getting out of reach here. Sunstrike will barely miss Reza. He just barely jukes it. Ping's coming out from Orchid. He says, ha, huh, look out there, bud. Don't get hit by that. Mid lane, TP back coming from the side of Storm Spirit, looking to maybe go on Incarnate, who's actually at full health and almost for mana. Gonna ball lightning in, looking for a pull, doesn't get it. And he's gonna back right off. Top lane, being pressured by Orbit right now. He's got some time to free from. He has his shreds up now. Uh, interesting that we don't see phase boots on him, something we usually see. Not unheard of, though. Tower's getting pressured all over the map. Mid was getting pressured a little bit, bottom, top, what have you. So... Still, I mean, MYI is not, I'm, like I said, they're not out of this. They've got a lot of time here. They have track gold. They have, I mean, they've got a lot of setup here. And Chicken can, if he can just get some farm, he'll be in a very good position. But that's really the problem. He's gotten 27 last hits. And his farm is going to be late. And that'll be tough. It'll be really tough. Drums are finished up on the side of Sven. Tranquil's on the Ancient Apparition and nothing on the uh, regular boots. And meanwhile, on the top lane, Orbit actually going to get a kill somehow. Barely surviving against that Firefly. Maybe a lasso even as well. Did he use it is the question. No, he didn't. Meanwhile, middle lane, the one and only. Going to get initiated. There's a cold snap up onto the one and only. He's going to try to ball inning out before. Actually, he's going to go for the pull first. And he's going to do a lot of damage to Incarnate. Sunstrike going to come out as well. Not going to hit, though. And, uh, and, wow. That was a great play by the one and only. Bursting around, using his overload pretty well. Only with one charge and static remnant. This still does 140 damage. Meanwhile, bottom lane, we see it looks like an initiation. Jamie D going to go down from the Stormhammer plus the right click of Ariza. There's the Demonic Purge. It's not going to matter. Chicken MC looking for a snipe here. Will actually not get the kill. Barely on Ancient Apparition, who's at 5 health. He's like, you got to be kidding me. GTR taking a little bit of damage from Ice Path plus God Strength has been popped from Ariza. Will they go for the stun is the question. It looks like the answer is yes. And uh, drums are popped. They want to get this kill. Ariza taking a lot of damage from the tower. It doesn't matter, though. They're going to dive and get the kill there. So, 6 to 16, and Shiat is looking like they're in control right now. Sunstrike going to fly, barely missing GTR. Try to juke it just a little bit. And, uh, I mean, once again, Shiat looking really strong. Ariza looks like he will go down to orbit, though. That was a track kill, I believe. He did just use it. Orchid now needs to get back. Here comes Incarnate as well, looking for another kill. So, 7 to 16, experience in gold, looking pretty nice now. Incarnate looking to try to take down Orchid. He does have his lasso, and he's going to use it on Incarnate right now. Forge Spirit's doing a lot of damage, though, and Orchid needs to be careful. He's actually going to back up over the trees. Meanwhile, Orbit doesn't want to chase too far, but at the same time, he wants to get some more damage. Look at how much damage these Forge Spirits do, Melt melting the armor, essentially, really quickly of the uh, Ancient Apparition. Sunstrike going to fly, barely missing Orchid. In effect, it might have connected, but it just didn't get the kill if it did. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. Ancient Apparition now, warding up. I'm going to put a Sentry Ward down and... I don't know if this is in range. I don't think it is, so that's not going to get counter warded. TP coming in from two here. It looks like it'll be Ariza as well as Witch Doctor. 
I gotta try to pressure this, and now Chicken MC is sort of gone to mid lane, etc. Right, give me some room to farm here, I need help. Ice Blast onto Incarnate, taking a bit of damage, cannot heal up until that Ice Blast is gone, then he'll probably pop the Quas Essences. In fact, does so earlier. He's also got a Ring of Regen, which is gonna be nice for him regen. You see it's 15.8 per second. Mid tower is, uh, or excuse me, top tower is taken. Chicken MC looking for an assassinate, does get it. Only a little bit of damage, he's not gonna ball lightning anyway, he's okay. Looks like it will be an Orc of Malevolence on the side of Storm Spirit, going for dual Oblivion Stabs. We'll see what he decides to go afterwards. That's going to be important, that's gonna be a lot of damage, and it, it amplifies that damage as well. So you keep that in mind. 16 to 7 now on the side of Team Shit, and I mean, it's looking pretty good, but still not, they haven't... It's not over yet, it's not over till GG's called. Asway now doesn't really have much of anything. He, he really needs boots, and it's not happening. Meanwhile, top lane is actually going to get the kill. Storm Spirit will come in there using his uh, ball lightning and his pull. They're looking for the kill right now. He's got enough mana to ball lightning away, but not too far. And track speed is going to give him the movements. He's going to pop the drums, and DD is actually going to get picked up here from the Storm Spirit, allowing him to bottle up and maybe even go onto orbit if he wants to. Need to be careful. He's going to actually try to get away first, but now there's no mana left. Doesn't matter. He's going to back out, and he's going to be fine. Healing Ward, Voodoo Restoration, I should say, on the Witch Doctor, healing him back up to full. He's not using too much mana, surprisingly. Um, they're going to look for a gank here down in the bottom lane, and uh, Jakiro's in a not the best position. Uh, Meanwhile, Orkin will look at the kill on the Shadow Demon in the mid lane. It looks like we're somewhere. Actually, might have been in a jungle here. And they're looking for another kill onto his way. Nice uh, ice path there onto Orc. It doesn't matter. That was face taking nearly too much damage. Witch Doctor getting the kill there. This tower is going to get pressured. 19 to 7 is the score. Looking in the grass again. 8,000 gold, yeah, it's looking like GG, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't want to say anything too early, though. I've seen comebacks before. Might see him again. Chicken MC with Wraith Band. He needs to get his farm going, though. He's trying his best. Probably banned uh, by a uh, Blade of Black pretty free soon to finish that Yasha, but not if he gets ganked here from the side of the one and only. A lot of damage going on on him. There's the Orchid as well, and it's going to be the death of Chicken MC, so... I mean, these guys are playing really strong. This is a nice counter to uh, the Sniper here with that silence, and the ganks are just really strong. Blade Tiger is purchased up this time around on Orchid, so he went for his Vanguards plus his Treads first, but now with that purchased up, there's going to be a lot of initiation on the map. And Orbit has to look for a kill here, and he might be able to get it on a GTR. Remember, he's got a lot of Janata procs. He's got two Shrukens. Uh, there's going to be track first. He didn't actually attack, I think, out of it. He will get the kill, but Stormhammer is going to fly into Orbit. Uh, he's Shadow Walked right now. Do they have any vision is the question. They have a Stitch Award. We're going to see a disruption onto the Ancient Apparition. He's going to take a bit of damage. Ariza's looking for somebody, though. It looks like the Ancient Apparition might go down here. In fact, he will. Pull snap onto Ariza. He's going to go down as well, and that's what they needed. That's three for nothing on the side of my intent. They're looking to get back into this, and it's, it might start that way. Remember, this is going to this is game three, excuse me, of this uh, University of Waterloo Gamers LAN, the Grand Finals. The one and only looking for Orbit right now. Actually, Ball Light and Doubt. If there's anything that's scary right now, it's this here right here. Because he's a sort of... Uh, here that comes in and sort of cleans everything up as he looked like he was about to do on the bounty hunter this is game three i'm mott thanks for watching if you enjoy my cast please follow me on my uh, personal channel which is twitch.tv slash mott.2 follow neo dota definitely do that we're going to be bringing you a lot of casts we're you know mad as well if you uh, are interested in some professional players talking about dota such as like merlini in the past uh, episode with bulba those guys owie 2000 or aui 2000 for whatever reason Ice Blast flying down here into the bottom lane. Chicken MC taking some damage from that. Uh, Storm Spirit looking for an engagement here. And I don't know if you have enough mana to go for this. He's actually in Chicken MC coming in. They're actually going to be the Courier, but it doesn't matter. The one and only will go down, I think, here. Demonic Courier flashing up as well. So a really aggressive gank attempt on the Chicken MC sort of backfires on him. And Orbit getting the kill there. No track gold this time around, but the Courier does go down, unfortunately. And that's rather not good. And the Courier, this is the third time... Today, I've seen the Courier die on, uh, like, any team. Gem of True Sight is the pickup for Batrider. This is a nice early gem, and this is going to cause problems for Orbit. And they need to kill him early and often if they're going to sort of shut down his tracking, his farming, his uh, ganking abilities, which he's been doing a good job of. And he's actually, he's pretty much dead, and he doesn't even know it yet. So, he needs to, like, TP out now. But he can't because it's on cooldown for 22 seconds. He's going to Ghost Walk, and he's going to run right into them, and they're going to kill him. There's nothing they can do about this. Lasso will probably be up there. It goes in the Lasso right now, taking a bit of damage. I think we'll check and see that there is a gym. Reese is going to come in and try to just do some more damage, and that's going to be it. I mean, he's dead. So, Batrider getting the kill there with his Firefly, keeping him stuck in that fire right there. So, unfortunately, now they know that that, uh, that gem is available. They probably need to kill Orchid rather quickly, but that's easier said than done. They're pushing down here in this bottom tier 2 tower. They're looking for it. Uh, the answer, will they get it? I'm not sure. Fortification is available. 
Nope. Uh, bounty Hunter for 32 seconds, so we'll have to keep that in mind. We don't see any rotations coming from MYI just yet. What if this pop, but is there any TPs coming? I don't know. Does Chicken MC have one? He does. Blade of Lacrity up on him as well. Uh, this tower is taking a bit of damage, though. Force Spirit's going to come and try to defend this orc. Looking for another initiation. No lasso. Firefly going to pop out, though. Ice Blast going to catch nobody. Incarnate taking a bit of damage. Macro Pyre is up. Arisa's is actually going to go down. G-Tower looks like he will as well. Demonic Purge on the orc. He might go down. That gem is going to be taken care of. It's good defense so far. There goes the gem right now. They'll probably pick that up and kill it. Do something. Gem. 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 Sunstrike going to come out. And just missing. And the Ice Path as well. Top lane getting pushed in by the one and only. Orbit going to shadow walk away. And that gem is uh, still on the ground here. They see this. Someone pick that up. Kill it. He's, uh, Jamie D's actually just trying to defend it real quick. He's going to pick it up. I don't know. Maybe that might be good at counter ward and stuff like that. But I wouldn't keep that for too long with the amount of ganking that's been happening from Team Shia. So... Remember, these guys aren't really professionals. I mean, I've seen them play... At least MYI and, and plenty of other events, but uh, not be too overly critical of these guys. They're just having fun, clearly. So Blade of Alacrity plus the Band of Elven skin that Yash will be finished up soon. The recipe's like a thousand now or something, I think. What is it? Six hundred? Never mind. Wow, I was completely wrong on that. Okay, good stuff. Shit, he's gonna head down the mid lane. They're gonna look for this tier two. It looks like and put some pressure on with Ancient Apparition. Going for a Void Stone and a Sage's Mask, which I believe is a Yule Scepter. I want to make sure of that before I really make any distinctions here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yep. And it's Eul's. Which is pretty much pretty core cool for Ancient Apparition from what I remember. For a number of reasons. 2-2 Two -two's going to get pressured here. 5 here on the side. Oh, There's the Lasser coming in here on the side of Incarnate. Taking a lot of damage. Demonic Purge going to come out. Nice Ice Path as well. 2 getting hit by that uh, Ice Blast as well. Here comes the Reese. He's got full health right now. There's going to be the pull in on the side of the one and only. Agna or Ult is coming out from uh, Reza as well as GTR. So they're looking for more kills here. They've gotten two so far. A nice fight is 5. Orbit looking to maybe engage on this. And Reza is taking a lot of damage. He's actually going to go down. Shadow Walk going to fly out from him. Now here comes the Chicken MC with the shots on the backside. Shrukin will get the toss there. He's not going to get the kill. They want the kill. One more kill. One more attack. One more attack. Oh my my gosh, one more attack. Not going to do the job, though. There's going to be the pull from the one and only. He's taking a bit of damage. Will it be enough to get the kill? No, it won't. Chicken MC is also going to get the kill on GTR. In the meantime, Ancient Apparition she's trying to get out of there, but Chicken MC is chasing him down. Headshot procs are happening. There's the track. Is there Assassinate? Yes, this will be the end of uh, the Ancient Apparition. Triple kill for Chicken MC, and they turn that around. Nice plays by my intent. Good stuff. Back to 18-23. to 23. MYI. They looked bad early on, but now oh, they're coming back. Experience is nothing. Difference is gone. Gold. 5,000 right now. My intent looking really good. Defending the 2-2 tower as well with a lot of health to spare. I want to look at the levels real quick. Shakira's still the lowest level right now, but that doesn't matter. He'll catch up eventually. He doesn't need the levels, essentially. Not as much as the Bounty Hunter, you know, the Invoker, the Sniper, of course. And, I mean, this is pretty easy. And, uh, even, excuse me. I mean, the Storm Spirit playing really well, but uh, I just... Mm, I want to see who died on the side of my intent. I don't know who did. I wish I could scroll up here, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, did anyone buy back is the question. I want to make sure of that. Nope, nobody bought back in that entire fight. Okay. I thought for sure someone did, but I think the supports went down on the side of MYI, and then essentially she had got almost team wiped. I think three went down, maybe four, I'm not 100% sure. But MYI took care of it, and they're turning this around. Assassinate in the middle lane right now. Ariz is taking a lot of damage. Soul Kitchens is not hit, doesn't matter. He's going to go down regardless. And Invoker getting the kill there. Great plays from MYI right now. Really, really crazy game so far. I really love it. And backside coming in. Orchid looking for something. Here's going to be the Storm Spirit Ball Lightning in. He's got no mana. If they try to go on this, this is going to be some trouble here. Lasso coming in on Jamie D. That's who they need to get. Nice ice path on to Orchid, though. He's taking a bit of damage. There comes the ultimate from GTR, but he's going to cancel it immediately. She needs to get out of there right now. Orchid taking a lot of damage. Macro Pyre going to latch. Will there be another ice path? It's not going to matter. Orchid's going to go down to the assassinate. Chicken MC will get the kill. GTR, will he get in Sunstrike? No, it's not going to happen. Oh, no. No, he's up on the high ground. He can't get there, but Jamie D's might go down here for just a second. No, he's actually going to live. They're going to keep chasing and getting the kill this time around. Once again, it's Chicken MC with another double kill, and he's unstoppable right now. Ball lightning out from the one and only, and he, ah, it's a bad play. He had no mana. You saw him. He was over here. He was going to initiate, but he had, like, no mana. He's actually going for a ball lightning on somebody. 
<laughs> he got the kill on Jamie AD. All right, so three for two there, getting the bounty hunter, but then dying, you know, three heroes, actually four, you know, if you count a reason in the mid lane. And the one and only is trying to just get some more kills here. He actually just popped a regen room. Looking for Chicken MC. Now Chicken MC is kind of in trouble here. He can't really do anything about this. There is an Orchid here. Chicken MC trying to juke. The pull does happen, and he will, in fact, go down. That's the end of his unstoppable streak. So the one and only is going to try to cancel this immediately. Meanwhile, Invoker getting the kill on Sven somewhere. I don't know where it was. Where did that happen? Where did you die, Sven? Did he get Sunstrike? How did he die? He was like full health, I thought. Whatever. Regardless, uh, good stuff. Oh man, you see, oh, wow. 2500 is the gold graph difference right now. Still going in favor of Sheep, but not too much. I gotta say, as Asway has been hitting some clutch ice paths on that uh, Batrider. Just absolutely clutch. GTR, he's tried to get a few ultimates off. The Death Ward has not been working for him. And I think the one and only is probably playing the best on the side of Sheet here. I mean, Ariza has gone down a few times. He's not doing nearly as much damage as I think he can do. He's going for BKB, though, and that's going to be really important. Still, there are two Tier 2s left on the side of Team Sheet here, and meanwhile there's none on the side of uh, MYI, so what looked to be pretty bad is starting to look pretty good for my intent. They're getting back into it. You see these levels here on their 3Ks. It's really important. The two supports are even leveled up higher than most of the other supports. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Orbit's actually going to go down. He'll pop his BKB. It's not going to matter. He's going to die. Storm Spirit getting that kill. So this is one thing you can't do. You can't be sort of alone looking for ganks, looking for kills alone when the entirety of Sheet is missing, and then you go down to the one and only. So that's not really that great. And that's going to be him down for another 49 seconds. They're going to try to pressure this tier 2. Does he have a buyback? The answer is definitely no. He's only got 160 gold. He does have his BKB, as we just saw. Uh, his treads, his poor windshield, his drums. Chicken MC trying to get some more farm. Very close to a ultimate orb and uh, Manta style. And that's going to be a lot of damage as well. But I don't know if he's has not have got enough time here. Orchid and the rest of his team are going to try to push this. Fortification is popped. Is there going to be any TPs here? Looking for the uh, pull on the higher ground from Incarnate. Not going to happen, though. This tier 2 looks like it will go down. I don't think they can defend this with uh, Bounty Hunter dead for another 20 seconds. God Strength has been popped for this specific kill, and it will happen. Reza should be getting the last hit, and he does. That's 1,000 gold in the bank for him. So there goes the tier 2. There's only two left. They're going to rotate mid and maybe look for it, but of course they've got to push this lane back first. And looking at the levels right now, the only, one and only is actually at level 19. He's pretty above and beyond everybody else. He's got a BKB as well, which is very important. Still, the right-click damage from Chicken MC will be there. Invoker going for what seems to be a Hextic with that Scythe of, uh, with the Ultimate Orb, which will build into a Scythe of Eyes. As you can see, it's very close to a Mystic Staff as well, and that's going to be nice to have for somebody like the one and only, but it's not going to matter if he's got his BKB popped. Same with Zven. But MYI has been playing on their back heels for a long period of time. I mean, they're up and actually experienced right now, but they're still down in gold, as you can see, them dying, Orbit dying to uh, up here, and sort of them getting that tower was not what they needed. The one and only now, still farming away, 1,200 in the bank for him. Orchid farming the creeps up here in the jungle. Blink Dagger has been finished. He's going for BKB as well. This is going to be, like, essentially a full team BKB right now. If they can get it on the Ancient Apparition, they will. And same thing with the Witch Doctor, but that's unlikely. Mech is going to be the choice for the Witch Doctor next. Storms are running around looking for illusions, looking for runes, and bottle ball lightning like crazy. Mid is where my intent is at this moment in time. So, rotation into Roshan right now, and it looks like this is what she wants to do. Do they have any vision here? I'm not sure. I don't think they saw him go in. This board is not really in the best position to find this out. They might see it, though. I don't know. They ping it out. Nope, that's Orchid once again pinging it there. They say, hey, let's Roshan. We've got time. They're pushed back there, too, too. Yeah, and MYI is not going to find this out unless they throw a Bounty Hunter in there. I don't know if there's a gem on any of these heroes again. I don't believe so. Yeah, no. Oh, just kidding. It's not worth it. There it is. Pink coming out. And now they know, but uh, this first challenge should be done by the time they get there. I think they pop God Strength for this. Yeah, this will go down and should be going to Ariza or to the one and only. I'm not sure which one it will be. I'm thinking about it. It's going to be Storm Spirit. He's got a net worth of uh, 2k more than the Evoker at this point. Uh, counter warding is happening with that gem of True Sight. And now MYI realizes that their time is really running out. They're really close to getting back into this, but uh, the pressure's on. Had, this is a really mid-game lineup from the side of uh, Orchid and his team. My intent, not so much. My intent will win in the long game, but uh, will they get there is the question. 
pretty close game. 23 to 27. We see some crazy comebacks before. Assassinate flying out to the one only. He's taking a bit of damage, but he will get healed up right quick by that uh, Voodoo Restoration. Mech will be flying out shortly. He's got the recipe. He should be coming soon. Whether it does or not, I'm not sure. They're pushing this tier 3 bottom. They want it. They throw out the Chilling Touch. Meanwhile, Ball Lightning in. There's the BKB on the side of the one and only. They need to try to right-click him. There's going to be the last one as well. Stormhammer on it too. Nice Ice Path, though, as well. Orphid taking a bit of damage, but so is Jamie D. Getting the kill is the Invoker on the Witch Doctor. Aegis is actually popped really quickly. How did that happen? They killed him so quick. There was so much damage there. The one and only is in a bad position. He's going to Ball Lightning out. I don't know where he's going. I'm trying to follow him. He's actually going to get the kill. Oh, the disruption on the Invoker saves his life. Soul Catcher, the assassination, is going to get the kill there. Sniper getting it. Somehow, MYI defends. Four for nine. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm like thinking that entire fight. I'm like, yeah, they, I mean, that's a good initiation. They should be getting this no problem. And all of a sudden, like Soul Catcher from the Shadow Demon does a freaking ton of damage. Sven is somewhere, in, like, I don't know where he was during that entirety of that team fight. And my intent looks stronger than ever before. Chicken MC finishing up his Mantis Howl. Two Wraith Bands in the bake as well. And they just need to avoid getting caught out now and continue this advantage. I mean, the gold was going for a long period of time. It was actually going back in favor of Shi'it, but still 7,500. It's going to be a long climb for MYI. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Regeneration. All 200 viewers of you. Once again, I'm Lot. This is the University of Waterloo Gamers Land Final, the Grand Final at a land setting here between University of Waterloo's My Intent and Team Shit from. God, where are they? I know they're from somewhere. I'm thinking of the name. I can't remember it. I'll check back in a minute. I apologize. I was going to say. They were from uh, Lorianne, but that's actually um, where G Hawk is from, like, the other team that played today. I'm trying to keep up with the ball lightning from the Storm Spirit, and it's like tough because he's all over the place. I need to use this up here a little bit more just to say, hey, that's where he's jumping all over the place. Over here. Over here. Bottom being pushed in right now. Just us up on the Batrider. He did lose that gem after that last fight. So that's 1,400 gold invested in gems gone. Orchid losing both of them, of course. It's not his fault. He's been engaging in team fights that they've lost. Scythe of Vise up on the Invoker. That is very important. That's a critical item. I don't know if he just got that or if he had it during the last fight. Chicken MC with a lot of gold in the bank as well. Not sure where he's going to go. Maybe going for the BKB next. I want to make sure that I see what he does decide to go. GTR does finish up that mech. And uh, Ultimate Orb here for Storm Spirit. So he'll be going for a scythe of his own, it looks like. It looks like I say that. Yules is finished up for the uh, Ancient Apparition, and I think uh, it's soon time for MY to start pushing lanes other than, you know, mid and try to go for some towers here. They could use a lot of the gold from these towers that they have hidden in here. These tier 1s are very low. They're pushable, really, really pushable at this moment in time. Orchid's actually in the bottom jungle. He's going to be finishing up his Mithril Hammer, getting his recipe relatively soon, and actually he's pulling the lane. Or stacking it. Looks like a stack, actually. It was a stack. Nope. Just uh, actually missed the stack just barely. I hope Chad is doing well. Buckler now up on Shadow Demon. Just needs that recipe. 150 away from it. And uh, DD is going to Double be picked up by the damage. one and only right now. It's going to be activated. He actually got rid of his bottle. Just to make room for the ultimate orb. And the TP scroll, magic wand, and what have you. Surprisingly enough. And they're looking for gank here. I think everybody knows uh, on the side of uh, my MYI here because this ward is giving them vision. Courier is going to fly overhead as well. Still, I don't think there's another gem. I think it'll probably be on cooldown still, I imagine. Yep. 4.56 is the cooldown timer. Smoke up from my intent. Something we haven't seen them do in a quite a long time. Assassinate going to fly out. Going to hit onto AA. Taking like a ton of damage. Voodoo Restoration will pop up and he'll heal to full though. Sunstrike. Not going to hit. Missing just barely on the AA. Who actually popped his tranquils for that as well. Chicken MC. Smoked up. Still looking for something. The rest of his team behind him. Up top is actually where the one and only is. And he can't get back here quick enough. It looks like Ice Path will initiate onto Orchid right now. Will it be enough? There's the Deafening Blast going in as well. Orchid will go down. Demonic Purge getting the kill. Nope. Sniper getting the last hit there. Ice Blast flying out. It's going to hit onto three. Yes. Let's connect. Mech is up on uh, Jamie D. As soon as it flies out. And they'll be able to pop it as soon as the uh, Ice Blast goes away. Remember, it doesn't kill you if you have that Ice Blast on you. 28 to 27, the first time my intent is leading in this game in terms of kills. Top is being pushed in by the one and only right now. He'll have to go through tier 3. 
which would be difficult. We actually see a TP happening uh, from the Invoker right now, Incarnate. Who actually can hex him, I believe, unless he gets his BKB off first. Tier 2 taking some damage. Fortification is available, but they should be able to take this just fine. So instead of going straight for the Tier 1, they decide to go for the Tier 2 and take away that sort of... Uh, Advantage. And meanwhile, the one and only one has actually got a BKB and he's got a ball lighting away and he'll be just fine. And he gets the kill on Incarnate somehow. I don't know how it happened, but I was watching that 3 2 tower. So I apologize. Thank you, Capgrass, for uh, telling me that everyone from Shia is from Ottawa. And informing the chat as well. Capgrass has been the admin all day, been making all the uh, lobbies for these games, so. I really appreciate him helping out here. Also, another admin of ours is Ham Sandwich from Join Dota. He actually contacted me about casting this event. I'm pretty happy to be here. I gotta appreciate him for it. I'd like to give a shout out to everybody that played in the UWG. I know there's a large group stage that happened before this. I wasn't aware of what happened during it, but obviously, MYI, Shiit, and uh, G Hawks moved on. So the one and only one with that Yule Scepter. This is going to be important. This is an important item, whether you use it aggressively or defensively. This is going to be very important. Almost as good as that disruption on the side of uh, Jamie D. Which, I mean, honestly, Jamie D on that Shadow Demon is playing, playing lights out. And playing so well. And he did so in the last game, too. I believe he was on the Shadow Demon as well. The Rubik was played by Asway. He's thrown up here in the top rune spot. And 28 to 28 right now. Storm Spirit bottling uh, ball and lightning up here. Lincoln Sphere, and I thought it was going to be Hexic, but it's actually going to be Lincoln Sphere. That's going to be pretty important. That's a lot of magic community they have to go through. That's a lot, and that's going to be scary. He's got 1,500 as far as net worth. The problem is he just doesn't deal enough damage, I think. And I think they realize this on my 10. They can't really do anything with the Storm Spirit in there with, like, full mana. The times that they've won the fights have been the one and only has been, like, either low on mana or he just made some misplays or, you know, he was really aggressive over here, and I think what happened was the Soul Catcher caught him. Uh, even though he had a, I don't know if he had his BKB pop, but Soul Catcher caught him, did a bit of damage as well from the Ice Path Micropyre, and he just got right clicked down from Chicken MC, who had that Mantis style finish up just in time, I think. Desolator is the choice from Sniper this time around. It's not going to be Daedalus like we saw last time. The armor reduction is going to be nice because Fen does give that bonus armor from Warcry, and that's huge. The 16 bonus armor. So the reduction of armor is a big deal from Chicken MC. Um, Draskal's a little busy, that's why he can't cast. So I apologize if you want Draskal alone. There's nothing I can do about that. Now we see a group up happening from... Shit, they're actually checking the Ancient Stack real quick, which has been stacked nice and neat for them. And Ariza will take this with his Greater Cleave, which, by the way, does 55% cleave, which is a lot. Uh, I don't know if Draskal is in or not, so... Don't ask me. It's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, Ruse is going to take the front of this, uh, and he's going to have a lot of money pretty soon. Could be going for something like a Blink Dagger. He's got his BKB. He's got plenty of money right now, but uh, MYI is still trying to farm here. It's actually a Maelstrom that's finished up for Sniper, so it wasn't a data or a Des Desolator. Maelstrom is the first pick up here, and this is probably be the second part of, uh, of BKB. So he picks up the Maelstrom. The Desolator is actually going on the side of Orbit, and you don't want to have that stack. So it's going to be him with a Desolator. Maelstrom plus a BKB onto the side of Chicken MC. And there comes an Ice Blast. It's going to fly right by. It's going to miss. Still, the debuff will be on MYI just for the moment being. Tirdu being pinged up from MYI. Do they have a smoke on them? I think that's what they're thinking right now. No, none of them have smoke, it doesn't look like. Um, or not. Someone did, obviously. They clearly didn't check well enough. And they're gonna head into the jungle, and they might find a lot here. In fact, they might find immediately Orchid, and they're gonna try to get the kill here, and he's gonna get hexed up absolutely immediately. Here comes the ball lightning coming in. The BKB is popped, and the one, the one and only taking a bit of damage, he's gonna ball lightning away. He's running out of mana pretty quick. There's going to be an Ice Blast. Going to miss on all of them, just barely. And the kill did go to... Chicken MC again. Roshan is available. Will they go for him is the question. And does Orchid have a buyback? <sighs> no, he just bought something. I don't know what he bought, but he just bought it. Might have been the rest of his BKB. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage from MYI right now. 
Alacrity on Chicken MC, just shooting like crazy. Of course, Orbit with the Desolator, and he's dead. Roshan just died within like seconds. That was like a 20 second Roshan attempt. Chicken grabbing the Aegis right now, and now the tides are starting to turn. They can sort of fight into towers without him being too scared. It was a nice pick off, that was a good smoke gank, they needed it. And Jimmy D with the mech finished up, which is going to be super helpful. Of course, cannot pop it with the uh, ice blast popped out. Chicken MC rotating down here with the Orga Club in his inventory, looking for BKB relatively soon. Asway, Asway. Not too much on him, just reds. It's a cool sound effect from Maelstrom. Never heard that sound before. And they might want to rotate looking for this tier 1. Orbit and Incarnate. Incarnate is invisible. Orbit has Shadow Walks. They're looking up here over the edge, looking for any sort of a rotation end. But I think if rotation does come, it'll f happen through a uh, TP scroll. Fortification is available. And MYI being a little passive here. They've got a Sentry Ward behind them. They should be in good position. They're pinging out Orchid right now. Assassin, it will fly out. There's going to be a Sheep as well. He doesn't get his BKB off. Will he be able to get out is the question. Nice latch of stuns there. Chain of stuns. Tower will go down. They take out Orchid, but Tier 2 is getting pressured right now by the rest of Shiat, and it's actually going to get taken down. They're looking for the Tier 3. TP's coming back in. Invoker looking for something. He's going to drop the Meatball, doing some damage there. Looks like Ariza and the rest will back off. Can they get another kill is the question. It doesn't look like it. Chicken actually TPing in the latest here. Uh, gem on the ground here in the spawn. So another gem down for them here. And she is actually going to rotate. So they trade the tier 1 and a kill for tier 2. The tier 2 is already pretty low. Mm, haste. And, uh, I mean, looking at the graphs real quick, 2,500 going for experience as uh, MYI starts to take the lead a little bit. Gold still not over zero just yet, but it's getting close, as you can see here. And Chicken MC just needs a little bit more farm to really out-carry this game. He's got the Maelstrom. Will he go for the Mjolnir next is the question. He already attacks relatively fast with the Alacrity, too. He fast really fast. On top of that, you've got the Desolator on orbit. That's going to be a lot of armor reduction, which is a huge deal against Fen and the Warcry. They're going to push the Tier 1 tower top, and I don't know if they can defend this. Everyone's alive, and they have all of their ultimates. Mask of, Mask of Madness is the choice for Sven, by the way. Ariza's is going to rotate in here. TP's into the Tier 2. Ice Boss is going to fly out. He's going to hit onto 2 right now, Chicken MC being one of them. That's not who you wanted on, but this tower will go down. It looks like there's a fortification. Alacrity is going to get popped off on Chicken MC. There's the board. Will they continue? Nice deafening blast to really defend this off. And now Chicken MC looking for some kills here. Ball Lightning going to come in on Chicken MC. There's the Stormhammer stun. There's going to be an Aegis, though. A lot of damage through the macro power. Ice Path as well. There's going to be the last one to incarnate. Not doing too much damage. Jewel Scepter onto somebody. Aegis is popped off. And uh, two for two right now. Two for one, actually. And HN Apparition will go down. The one and only is the next focus here. He's going to get tracked off. And Orbit will take him down, but they'll really trade. And Batrider getting that kill. But it's five for three is the trade. The Aegis did get popped. But brute force attempt from my intent, and they get it done. So, I mean, that was a really aggressive fight. And the thing is, he's down for 70 seconds. Does he have a buyback? Absolutely does. But the tier 2 will go down regardless. There's no one else to defend it. Chicken MC, with his Aegis, brute forces his way in there. Sits in the back. He's got 3,500. He'll buy something, maybe save it for buyback right now. But it's looking really good for my intent. And this is what they needed to do. They needed to turn the corner into the late game, which is what happened. Uh, Chicken MC using the Aegis to his advantage. Goes down immediately, but it doesn't matter because they get the kills on who they need to get the kill. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of damage coming out from all these heroes, but they're so squishy. Look at this. 967 health. I mean, the mech was popped, I believe. And of course, the same with a thousand on the ancient apparition but it just they go down so fast there's soul catcher everywhere the demonic purge as well the desolator reducing that armor of course so good stuff from the side of my intent so getting close to the mid to late game here we're actually in the mid game right now late game is upon us essentially once you start seeing sniper get kills like that it's essentially the late game ultimate orb is the choice for sniper um, I believe it might be a Lincoln's or a Scythe. No, it's not going to be a Scotty. I'd be very surprised to see a Scotty. But then again, I've been wrong about things before. So, I think it will probably be that Lincoln Sphere, and that's going to make him even harder to kill. I mean, they go in immediately with that uh, Ball Lightning, and I think that's what he's trying to avoid. That one initiation factor is he gets Ball Lightning on, followed by the, uh, the pull from the Storm Spirit, and that's going to be a big deal. All right, that's a very big deal. If they can stop that pull happening onto Chicken MC, he'll be in a good position later on in the game. 44 minutes in the game, and MYI is in the driver's seat right now, but it's the first time they've been there this entire game, this entire series even. 
Yeah, look at that. Wow, the experience going way up. Gold as well, 5,000 is now the advantage, and they shouldn't really be afraid of any team fights anymore, at least until this uh, Lincoln Sphere is done, and then they can really go balls to the wall. Mjolnir is the choice. Um, so he's going to get the Mjolnir recipe fierce. Hyperstone as well will probably come out pretty soon. He's got enough for the Hyperstone. The one and only is going to get hit by that, but Lincoln Sphere will def deflect it, and that's a good use for the Lincoln Sphere as well. <laughs> Look, R7, the other day people were criticizing me for being too aggressive in my cast. You want me to be angry or not? Here's a team fight. Orchid going to come in with a lasso. Pulls happening. Ice Path on it too right now. It's not going to matter. Jamie D's going to go down to me, but so is Orchid as well. Ariza taking a ton of damage. Here's checking MC going from the back right now. One is have got to get out of there. GTR is taking a ton of damage as well. And Ancient Effort, a nice assassin on him. He's already at half health. There's going to be four Stephen from Incarnate. He's going to try to keep chasing. Will he get the kills? The question He's trying to invoke something. Right click's going to be enough. Yes. Yes. He just walks away. Buyback happening from orbit right now. And illusions are here, but the only one not dying is the one and only, and that's kind of a big deal. I mean, he's still alive. He should might be he might be able to defend this, but tier two will go down, but maybe the tier three might be too much here for MYI. Here I am! And he's going on chicken MC. Can he get the kill? Mantis style is popping. It's so much damage. The sheep happened, and oh goodness, now we'll buy back and he wants the kill on the chicken MC, and he will go down. Will he be able to get the invoker is the question. But he does have enough for a buyback right now, so he'll be down for 77 seconds, but that's a buyback wasted for the one and only. But he does get the kill on Sniper, which is a big deal. That's going to be some experience in gold going his way. So, anyways, I was saying before, like, the other day for, I, I don't know what it was, the CDL or something, I was, like, criticizing players for doing certain things and not sure why they were doing them, and people were like, God, this guy's so mean. Pick, pick one thing. Do you want me to be mean? Do you want me to critique? What do you want, all right? I'm trying my best. Ah. Uh. Regardless, both teams are doing well. I mean, I'm not going to critique them for doing things that they're already doing. I'm not going to say, well, they should do this, this, and this, and it's like, it's not going to help them. I mean, they're already doing it. How can they effectively move on from that scenario, you know? I'm not going to, like, throw my Dota knowledge out at people. Necronomicon is going to be purchased up. Who was that by? Shakiro? And that's something I will applaud. That's a good pickup, okay? And Necronomicon has been happening, like, every game here you know, in the UWG. They're pushing in. They need something to get up into the tier 3. Necro Book is the way to go. Also gives you True Sight at level 3. Pretty nice. Of course, the Mana Burn. Stuff like that. Tornado going to fly up. Doing a little bit of damage. Dust is popped. They want to make sure that there is no Bounty Hunter in the relative vicinity, but that's not the case. She got MC up in 4. They're going to try to brute force this. Fortification is available. Here comes the one and only trying to get it, but he actually gets caught. Oh, he gets caught. He had his BKB, but he didn't pop it. He's just going to go down. Ariz is going to go down as well. His BKB is popping. It might be too late for him. 94 seconds for the one and only. There's the Assassinate. It doesn't matter. Incarnate is going to get the right click damage. DTR trying to TP out. Is there a mini stun? They're not going to find him just barely, so he gets out. But now you've got a lot of time. You've got 83 seconds to push down a lane and get a kill here. Meanwhile, they're still chasing on Orchid. There's a Lacrity on Incarnate. He's looking for something. Ghost Scepter is up on Batrider. Oh, uh, good juke from Orchid. Nice juke. He's got no TP, but he's got a blink. He can get out of there. So they will miss him. I don't know if they saw that he didn't have a TP or not. But now he's actually in kind of a bad position. He'll have to walk all the way back uh, and look that way to get uh, into the base. So he'll have to go probably around in this general direction. And they come back around to try to fight. But now we see MYI looking for a push here. And Incarnate's slowly bringing up the rear right now. And it might be a casual ultimate orb. That press, I would not be surprised. Mjolnir is finished up for Sniper. That's going to be a lot of freaking damage. You see how fast he attacks with Battle Acrity. Fortification is available. 42 seconds for Shia and Sven will be up in just a moment. But they really cannot fight without that uh, Storm Spirit right now. This tower taking a bit of damage, GTR. And uh, Trek onto Orchid right now. Looking for a blink. He's got no mana. He cannot blink and lasso in if he does. Uh, uh, Sunstrike going to miss just barely. There's going to be the purge as well as the ice path. It's going to take care of Orchid. He should be going down here, but not just yet. Looking for the kill is MYI, Chicken MC. Looking for Ariza as well, GTR. Now he's taking a bit of damage, though. He needs to back off. He's got his BKB. It's going to pop. Now he can turn around and try to shoot Ariza here, and he does do so. GTR taking a lot of shots. Meanwhile, Bounty Hunter getting the kill on the Ancient Apparition in the meantime. They're going to take the mid racks, and this looks like it's going to be GG here. MYI can rotate. They've got the uh, creeps in the buildings right now. They can rotate, look for another kill here. They'll rotate up to the top racks and top uh, tier 3 right now. It's going to take a lot of damage. It's going to go down pretty quickly. Here's coming to Storm Spirit. He's got the BKB pop. Looking for Jamie D. Looking for something. Silence goes on him. Ice path. Doesn't matter. BKB is popped. Ariza is coming in here. Plus Orchid as well. Jamie D might be going down for just a second. There's going to be a nice deafening blast. Ariza looks like he's going to go down. One more right click. Invoker will get the kill. There's going to be the Storm Spirit ball lightning in. BKB is popped on in, uh, Incarnate. Not enough damage to get it done. Uh, there's going to be the assassinate. Plus the. Oh, the Sunstrike doesn't get the kill, but so close. Orchid's going to get out of there. 
Tier 3 is going to be taken. Chicken MC bravely staying in here looking for the kill. Does get it, and he's going to get out of here right now. He's really low. He's going to... First of all, just clear the creep with maybe take down the melee rex as well. But we're going to see a ball lightning come in from uh, the one away now. He's taking a lot of damage, and he'll go down. Orbit getting the kill there, but Chicken MC does go down. Ice Blast coming in. They're trying to finish the melee rex. There's the BKB pop from Orbit. He wants the kill on Orchid right now. Nice blink away. Good juke there. Now Orbit's all alone. He should be going down. Does miss on that uh, cold feet, so it'll push him back, but uh, that's it. So, Necrobook level 3 finished up for a sway rather quickly, actually. He had level 1 just a second ago. Roshan's available. Chicken MC not up, though, but uh, you could give it to Orbit, who is up. Just regenning Gem of True Sight still in the well. Silk Kuros was finished on him. He's level 25 right now. You look at the levels here. He's actually leading the charge in terms of levels. He's got the uh, bonus gold, obviously, from track. It's been really nice for him. Been doing a good job with Desolator, getting a lot of kills really quickly. And Incarnate now actually with Boots of Travel, so he's going to be all over the place. He's actually got 400 or 4,000 in the bank. So. My intent is just looking to finish off this comeback here, and they looked pretty down and out of it early on, but uh, they came back. They trusted Orbit, they trusted Chicken MC, and they got the job done so far. Chicken MC back up in 6 seconds, Storm Spirit back up in 17, up in the top lane, Orchid's still pushing. Go Scepter on him, BKB as well. Riza with the plate mail, looking for an AC next, it looks like maybe a Shiva's Guard, probably the AC. GTR, trying to go for that BKB, it looks like... And if there's one hero that really hasn't done much in this game, I think it's been Witch Doctor. He's tried his best. He's gotten the heals off. Maledict did some nice job early on. Paralyzing Cask as well. Not a whole lot of death, board, death boards, though. He goes down pretty much imme immediately, so. Rotation from MYI. Now they have Chicken MC. They're going to look to take Roshan, and they absolutely can. They've got a lot of time to work with, and uh, Pink's coming out here on the side of Incarnate, saying, hey, they might be up top here. Despite the fact that they have a ward, uh, they're actually going to look for maybe a, a turn here to kill. Ancient Apparition will come on the high ground. Tornado going to fly in, plus the EMP. Ice Path as well. He's going to go down instantaneously. Ares is coming in, popping his BKB, but he's taking a ton of damage as well. Incarnate might go down. He's the Ball Lightning coming in from the 1 and only. He's looking for another kill. Jamie D going to back off. Mech is popped, and the 1 and only will go down. Nope. He's going to get out of there. Track up on GTR as well, and they'll both survive on the high ground. He's Orchid looking to get out of there. And Invoker's actually going to get the kill on the one and only. I don't think it was a Sunstrike. I think he just did the right click damage to do it. GG is called, and we're going to move on to game number four. MY is one, MYI is one win away from winning 500 bucks, which doesn't sound like a lot, but they played really hard for it. Good job by them. And we're going to get into this next game in just a moment, so stick around, guys.